Okay, we're going to create a simple photo gallery. Go to components here, down to Philco Gallery, and select categories. Uh, we will create a new category. First, we'll fill in a title for this category. I'll make it climbing. Uh, this is for a climbing outing. A series of photos of youth climbing. Uh, upload rights, we're going to set to everybody. Um, as a valid user, delete rights so that all my users can edit it. However, the owner, we can only choose one owner up here. Now this category folder, we need to create a folder where the photos will actually be physically stored on the web server. So I'm just going to create a folder here. I have to click this uh, lower right hand insert for it to fill in the folder name. And we will now save and close the document. Next, we will go to the images section so we can upload a folder full of images. Selecting multiple add here so that we can do several at once. Uh, now this section here, um, we'll deal with that last. We'll come back to it. Down here you can see my folder I have just created. I'm going to use the Java upload. Uh, you may have to tell it to run this time. I need to upload my Java software apparently. Make sure you let it know that it's okay to run. Now the reason why I use the Java upload is I can drag and drop several folders, uh, I'm sorry, photos from a folder at once. Uh, note, I forgot here, actually, I'm going to come back up and click the folder in which I want them to upload into. It's a very important step that you don't want to miss. Uh, unfortunately, it reset my screen, so I had to go over and drag my photos back in. So we've chosen the right folder we're going to, going to upload into, and we've chosen the right, uh, and we've redragged the photos back in. So now I'll pause the video. Okay, now we're back and it's uploading the last uh, photo there. And you'll see that we have all of our photos uploaded. Now we come back to the multiple head screen. We need to fill this out so that the photos can be processed. Notice I'm choosing the category so they'll be assigned to that category we created earlier. Make sure to click the Select All checkbox so it selects all photos that we just uploaded. If you choose a title, it will rename all the photos to that title. We won't do that right now. Save and close, and the next screen you see will be all of our photos being processed um, and thumbnails generated for them. I'm going to pause the video again here so that you don't have to watch 45 thumbnails being processed. Now we're back, finishing up the last couple. And we're back in the images area. You will see all the photos and their thumbnails are in place. See on the right here there's climbing category that we created, climbing with the date. Now I'm going to create a menu item that will display this as a gallery. So the menu item type is very important. Uh, focal gallery over here, we are going to click uh, the list of images category view. This will take all of those photos in that one category, the climbing to 1812 category, and display them in a category for, uh, I'm sorry, a gallery based off that category. Just checking over my settings here. I uh, just gave the menu item a title. We will save. settings. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, I'm actually going to change it to a photo gallery, uh, a sub-menu of photo gallery, so I can create kind of a sub-menu. So here's that photo gallery sub-menu. When you hover over it, you get the gallery name. When I 
click it, you'll see it's a gallery made up of the photos in that category. Now, uh, as you see here, I've set this link to where it will display categories. And you click a category, and you will see the photos in that category listing. So I'm going to take a little side trip here and show you how I did that. If we go to our menu, we find that main menu item. The, oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me actually. We need to go to extensions module first. Um, what I'm going to do is make sure my main menu has um, the show submenu items selected as yes. So make sure that's selected for your menu module. Now we'll go back into the main menu. Now we'll find that photo gallery menu. I'll click on it here to show you that the menu item type in the photo gallery section is list of categories, category views. So it kind of gives you an overview of all of the category galleries that are available if you click that link. And our site only has one at the moment, the one we just uploaded. But it would show you a list of several categories if you have them.